I got my first try earlier today, Project awesome. Morpheus. I tried the Monster Game and the London Heist Game. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So how long have you been working on this? Well, we've done the technology for many years in, in our research department, but kind of the project officially got started in 2011. Right, right. So, you know, it was it was really interesting. It was very realistic. Uh, I was a little I was a little breathless afterwards. And I don't know if that's just me. Uh, they told me that I got really into it. <laughs> um, but but you know that feeling afterwards. I, I felt like I could only do it for a few minutes. You know how do you overcome? The, the sort of nausea that people have been talking about and that feeling? Well, we're getting, I think that we're having a lot more um, success now. Maybe what you were feeling is you were basically immersed into an action movie and you were the character. So it was, your adrenaline really gets going and you feel like a sense of rush. And then in the other game, you were like a monster and you have to kind of use your head a lot and yeah. you're moving around a lot with your body to smash things. Yeah. So. I, I think that actually the technology has gotten past that point where it's really causing any grief. Okay, so let's talk about the technology because sure. the display is super cool. Like, talk to us about the features that make this so sure. special. So we have a 120 frames per second display that's in front of you, 100 degree field of view, a really low persistence, low latency update. So it just feels like there's a world around you. It doesn't feel like there's a screen stuck in front of your eyes. It doesn't feel like that. So. That's the headset, and it's very comfortable. All the weight's balanced on top of your head. You can move it away from your eyes a little bit to support glasses. So the ergonomics are a really big deal for us, too. What's the longest amount of time that you spent using it? Because I've never gone more than three or four minutes. I think one set South by Southwest, it was like eight minutes, but it jumped between different clips every 20, 30 right. seconds. Yeah, I've been in there for, you know, like four hours straight. So what? what? <laughs> well, we do a lot of them. Could you walk afterwards? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's fine. We do, do a lot of development. A lot of the experiences right now are are tailored to like five minute experiences because you know we want to have a lot of people try it but we have a game where it's like kind of like a tetris like game super hypercube and we've we've played that in competition against each other for you know often for 20 minutes at a time so is the headset that i tried today is that it what are you still working on or is that the final version yeah we've gotten to a place where we feel the the product is across the bar where it's a good quality even just a year ago, headsets were not to that level, and you know, most of the companies didn't feel like they were products yet. Mm -hmm. But now, several companies and ourselves have made these headsets where, like I said, the update rate's really good and the latency is very low, so it just feels very much like the world is real around you. Now, we talked to David Albert, who's the creator of Walking Dead. I mentioned zombies. He's yeah. actually working on a virtual reality Walking Dead series. Um, so take a listen to what he had to say. Sure. I think VR is a fantastic opportunity to tell stories. It's a different way. It's a different medium. You don't have the ability to control where people are looking, but you still are able to sort of craft an environment and craft a world for people to tell stories in. And I think that that ability is a great opportunity, and I think Hollywood's going to be telling more and more stories inside of VR. What's your take on that? Yeah, definitely a lot of people are interested in telling a story where you feel like you're there while the story's happening. And you mentioned you can't control where people are looking. It's a little bit more like live theater that way. You know, when you go to live theater, you could be looking anywhere on the stage. But they do have ways that they can cue you to kind of point where the action's happening. So. Right. And is, is the thought that gaming will be first? Because the sense that I get from most movie producers, TV producers, you know, that Albert's, Al Albert's uh, series is kind of an experiment. Most of them are dipping their toes in, but it's mostly marketing around a, a project. Or is your idea that eventually people will spend hours watching something? Well, our focus is primarily games because that's what we do as a company. But the reason I think game developers are taking the lead on this is it's an interactive experience inherently, and that's what they do. They make in interactive experiences. The uh, Hollywood people are really starting to explore what that means to them. How do they tell a story when somebody kind of can interact with it? We also spoke with the director of the new Warcraft movie, which is, uh, you know, obviously based on the popular World of Warcraft game, Duncan Jones. They just did a, a virtual reality deal with Google to watch it uh, via Google Cardboard virtual reality headsets. Take a listen to what he said about sort of the excitement around it. We've been very focused on finishing the film. We, we, you know, we don't come out until June of next year, but at the same time, we had some very hard deadlines of our own for other reasons that we had to get the film finished. Um, and and Comic-Con really becomes you know, one of those things that, that fights, for, fights for attention. But we absolutely wanted to make sure that we gave it the attention it deserved because it's, it's such a big opportunity for us to finally unveil what it is we're doing. Richard, how far off do you think 
the virtual reality is for the mainstream. Like, when will virtual reality have its moment? Uh, well, ours comes out the first half of next year, and what we really feel like is you cannot know what virtual reality is like unless you try it. Right. And so we want to have content for those people who are the initial buyers to be able to show, you know, the person who doesn't think it's for them, so that they'll understand what it is. And we already have some experiences right now where people are taking it off and go, "Wow, when do I buy this? When yeah. can I buy this?" You know. Yeah. And so what are what are some of the projections for how many people you think will use it in the first year? It's really hard to know. This is so new. You know, there's not really one of these out there before. But how many are you making? <laughs> we're, not, we're not announcing <laughs> numbers yet. And, you know, but we do have, we are very optimistic and we're putting a lot of our energy behind it as a company.